Welcome Geminis, I am the Empress. I'm happy to be here with you guys today. We're gonna take a look into the remainder of July. So today is the 21st, the 22nd? Today is the 22nd. Okay, so from the 22nd of July until July 31st, guys, let's take a look and see what's coming towards you, what some of you may be, may be going through. These are general reads, so they will not, they cannot resonate with every single Gemini, okay? So with that being said, guys, if this message resonates with you, good, it was for you. Um, click the thumbs up. Don't forget to drop a comment. Um, if you would like to check out some of my merch, guys, that information is below the video as well. If you would like to follow my merchandise page via social media on Facebook, I am under Empress Empire Merch, okay? Empress Empire Merch. Go ahead and like. Go ahead and like, guys. Like, and if you purchase from me, please don't hesitate to leave a review, all right? So, oh yeah, guys, as well, if you want to book your very own personal reading with me, that information is going to be in the drop box below for you to do so, all right? So let's get into it, Geminis. Let's get into it. Let's see what messages we have for Geminis for the remainder of July. All right, so we got solitude, okay? We got solitude. What other messages is there for Gemini's? We got pride and ego. Some of you may be watching someone or someone is watching you. I got observer here. All right, so somebody's watching. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. All right, let's see. Well, some of you are isolating yourself. Um... And it's because you possibly have like, you know, it's a pride thing where you feel like, you know what, I need to just isolate myself from this group or this individual. All right. Give me one more card for Gemini, please. All right. So I got grief. Okay. So some of you are worried about starting fresh um, in a union. Okay. A partnership or a bond that you have with someone, you may be, you know, worried or anxious um, because some of you want to start fresh. Some of you are trying to get a fresh start, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Some of you may be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo, okay? I wanted to put that out there as well, too. But you guys may be dealing, you know, maybe isolating yourself, maybe taking some time to think, um, you know, just wanting or feeling alone you know you like you need to do some soul searching um and you're possibly doing this because it's a pride thing you know your pride just could be in the way but some of you guys are like grief feeling you know like grief over a union okay you want a fresh start or you want to start over possibly in a relationship or some type of partnership or bond so let's see what messages we have for let's see what messages we have for um Gemini. All right. We got the six of cups, the fool. Yeah, see, some of y'all want to start over. Y'all most definitely like some of y'all want a fresh start, okay? Um, you're thinking over the past, like you're reviewing the past. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, some of you could have been going through, a, you know, are married. Yeah, see, look, you're, there could have possibly been, uh, you're, you, you feel the need to kind of like stand your ground, okay? You feel the need to definitely stand your ground, okay? It's like you're carrying the Queen of Swords energy. So, like, you're not taking any BS from off of anybody. You, when you think back about, when you look back over the past, this possibly pisses you off for some reason. Like, you feel like you had to fight your way out of something, okay? Past energy. Some of you were married. Okay, some of you are married, or this is pertaining to someone in the family, okay, or group. Okay, yes, you see, you've been watching someone, 
Okay, you're keeping your eye on someone or someone is watching you because I got someone here speaking their truth. Someone pouring out their feelings and their emotions, telling their side of the story. Okay, future energy. I just saw the Knight of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Someone could be dealing with a fire sign. Someone could be very um, all over the place. I'm getting as well for future energy. We got the three of wands. So you're waiting for your ships to come in. Yep, hangman hey here at the bottom. You may be waiting for someone to contact you or you're waiting to hear some good news. Okay, like you're on, you're waiting. You're waiting for communication to come in. Seven of cups, you're looking at all of your options. Okay, yep, you're looking at all of your options on how to move forward. What's the best move for you to move forward and be financially stable? Okay, so some of you are looking at your finances and looking over all of your options. Okay, how others view you, they see you as being, you know, in a union together. Okay, being together, doing things as a unit. But some of them have been waiting for and waiting and praying and hoping that you leave this person okay the marriage or some of someone here has been staying with someone because their finance because of their finances okay could be a king of cups could be a husband um energy king of cups pisces cancer scorpio what's the hopes and fears here all right i got the king of swords Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you guys, it's energy. But we got the tower here as well as the strength card. And, yeah, somebody here is dealing with ego issues most definitely. Like, most definitely dealing with ego issues, okay? Somebody has, like, this ego thing going on. What's the outcome? We got the Ace of Swords. So, communication coming in and truth being told, okay? Things are starting getting ready to roll in your favor. Things are getting ready to roll in your favor, guys. Wheel of Fortune and a Sun card, very, very much so. Like, things are starting to roll in your favor, okay? Some of you have been talking, telling your issues or talking about your issues to a woman, a spiritual woman here. Possibly like an older woman, could be a mother figure, a mother, a mother figure, a high priestess, okay, um, an aunt, a grandmother. Some of you have been talking, telling your problems to someone, okay, um, and opening up and communicating about something that's been going on in your life. All right, why is the seven of wands here? Seven of Wands, okay, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy, okay, but this is communication, and this is an invitation, okay, or somebody said something, and they, somebody got offended, okay, somebody definitely walked away from a, a, a relationship, they made their final decision to leave, and I'm still getting, like, somebody's husband here. I'm getting a husband, king of cups, ten of pentacles, ace of pentacles. Somebody was staying because of their finances, okay? Somebody uh, also regrets something that they said, or somebody's trying to make someone regret something that they, that they said. And some, and you guys could be doing better off um, being that you walked away from this situation. I want to see why the ace of swords is here. The page of pentacles, yep. Some communication is getting ready to open up. Okay, you're feeling like uh, somebody may want to, they may want to reach out to you, but you may be like, you know what, you can't make me. You can't make me talk. I don't want to talk. I'm not really interested in talking right now. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. And then look here at the bottom of the deck, the Death card. So there's definitely a complete ending in communication. Okay, so someone's trying to reach out, but I don't feel like you're going, you want to talk to this person. I don't feel like you want to talk at all. All right, so if this message resonated, guys, let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.